Good day everybody, today we would like to show you the process of uh, distilling on continuous still. A few of our uh, subscribers were asking us about uh, can we show you our, our <laughs> equipment for continuous distillation and yes we have it, we are making this since 2012. So over here we have a column and a boiler, peristalsis pump and mash. Over here we are already uh, collecting low lines. So uh, let's go from the bottom. So yeah, over here just the uh, apple mash which is uh, really smelly, really tasty and inside of there we have a special unit which is uh, like a siphon which can be installed to the bottom of the fermenter and you are able to uh, collect the mash uh, without any pieces of uh, yeast. This, this one a really really purple device and it's really useful. We make this uh, in two sizes and uh, actually made for this distiller but a lot of people buying this unit uh, like for <laughs> any type of process so when you they need to uh, drain the mash from the fermenter without yeast. Yeah. Then we go to the peristalsis pump. This one is actually really, really accurate pump and you are able to adjust it with a really needed speed. For example, this one is working right now with a speed of 12 liters an hour. Uh, it's not a lot, but we make continuous steel for the home distillation process. So any distiller can uh, place it to the, his apartment, his small house or anything like this and uh, we are going to make some bigger <laughs> and uh, wider continuous still but it's going to be happening in 2021 uh, but right now we're making you know, continuous stills like this one and this allows us to uh, distill about 12 to up to 16 liters of uh, mesh per hour that's not a lot but for some reason it is really a really nice device so mesh flows through the pump to the preheated element which is on the top over here mesh is getting hotter by contacting with the vapor which uh, <laughs> rises to the this condenser so when mesh got heated up to 80 degrees it just flows down to this unit over here uh, I ca actually cannot turn oh yeah I can turn this one boiler installed on a stands with rollers so mesh is dropping down to the extension pipes through the side glass and we are able to understand how many uh, liquid is falling and nothing is happening bad happening <laughs> yeah so side glass is uh, like a needed device for this type of distiller uh, then we have two extension pipes uh, which are 65 centimeters and inside of them there these plate units installed to them. These are made for our extension pipes so if you already bought a distiller, 2 inch distiller, you can install these units to your extension pipe and build a continuous steel if you like uh, to do it in the future. So the pipe has to be 53 millimeter wide and you simply install to that. It's 2 inch but the pipe itself is uh, 53 millimeter not like um, everyone else does like they all doing. Also we're making these units from copper like this one for people who are willing to add a copper to his distiller and able to get away from the sulfates. You, if you're distilling some uh, grain mesh it is like really nice device to get away from the sofa as I said. This one is a for small extension pipe which is only 400 millimeter as you can see this one is for the 65 centimeter pipe. So under the extension we have a special unit which allows us to collect distilled mesh and it's looking like this and over here we have a thermometer of water so we understand the boiling temperature and we adjust the pump to see uh, and um, 
work with this boiling temperature if it's going to be lower or higher we need to understand it if it's going to be lower than boiling temperature it means that we wasting our mash so it's going to surge with the distilled mash and it's uh, not really good <laughs> as you say this unit is looking like this a really simple one and the construction looks like a liquid management unit yeah, so under this unit we have a boiler with the water. Yes, you have to add water when it's going to be low amount of it. But to see the amount we install the water level. So when it's going to be closer to heating element, we just turn it off, turn the pump off and add the water and then heat it again and boil and continue our continuous distillation. Really simple and really small distiller continuous distiller for people who are interested in continuous distillation who wants best result for uh, low wines because low wines are much better in this type of distillation really high flavor good amount of flavor no like a boiling you know, flavors uh, if we're talking about usual pot still distillation also, we have to admit that this one on the top is uh, welded, yes, as you can see, but we make it uh, modular since 2013. So you are able to build any uh, continuous steel in the future if you already have some equipment for home distillation. So right now we are uh, making this piece by piece. So you're able to buy uh, condenser, preheater, bands, and this unit where liquid just uh, goes to the column like a small unit and really simple but it has to be made in this construction if you're looking for a distiller like this one yeah really simple one really nice distiller yes we also have to admit that the pump is actually pricey this is an old model right now we're making the uh, this pump with a some small uh, display where you can see the percentage of uh, speed of uh, the motor inside of this pump uh, it has to be really accurate because we have to add just a little bit of mash as you can see 12 liters an hour so peristalsis pumps allows us to uh, add wash in a really slow time and that's why the peristalsis pump is like a best solution if you're talking about small amount of mash per hour if you already have a pump which is accurate it's really good you are able to start continuous distillation right away just you need to buy some stuff for this process if you have a boiler which you can add a lot of water for example 50 liter boiler that's enough for continuous distillation just to like on this distiller you're able to distill up to 120 liters of mesh uh, so it will take about eight hours i think eight ten eight ten hours and you will be fine with the level of water inside of your boiler continuous distillation is a really good process of making low wines and making the spirits for the future for the uh, double distillation because we have a lot of flavor and the quantity quality is really high that's why this distiller uh, is actually living in this office since 2013 2012 i think and we are choosing this one for our own personal needs we distill a lot in, on this unit so it's about 200 up to 500 liters uh, in a, a month yeah, we distill a lot, we <laughs> drink a lot and <laughs> give uh, a lot of uh, gifts for our friends and families.
that's it for today. I hope you like this video and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Feel free to ask anything you like in the comment section or write us an email or WhatsApp or any messenger you like. Thank you for watching. Have a distilling.